Well, hello, fellas. It's great to be back. I'm Ike, Ike Ekwe by name. For those of you who are following, we introduced a project which we are going to be building through this series. We started off by taking a look at the system we're going to be designing. Now, in today's tutorial, we are going to build our root directory, build our file structure. It's a very important part of every project to have a clean and a neat file structure. It's going to tell how organized your work is going to be. A neat structure is going to optimize accessibility and things like that. So building a clean structure from the start is really something that you need to learn to do as a developer. I'm going to open my root directory from my web server and this is his right here in one folder the www directory all right here if you notice i've cleared off all of the files from the demo from the demo um, site we ran earlier we are going to build everything from scratch to finish together so i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to call it uh, what's this nice this is going to be our root folder it is in here that every other file and subfolder will sit so i'm going to be creating the rest of the subfolder so we'll be needing through the system all right first of all i want to create a folder called this core now here here in our core files are going to sit in essence files that are general to the system file that are going to affect the generality of the system such files are going to sit in this core folder i hope you understand that what once you start developing you will understand next off i'm going to create a css folder which is going to hold our styling then also i want to create an images folder the system is not a very huge one so file structure is also not going to be so complicated but in the images folder i want to paste in all of the images that we'll be using throughout this project now these first four messages images rather uh the images for our background slider if you remember how the background from the previous system was it was sliding from one image to the other now these are the images we're going to use for that purpose then this one here it's gonna serve as the logo of the system. All right. Next of all, I want to create a folder that is going to hold all of my JavaScript, and finally, I'll create a folder for my SQL. I know you'll be wondering why I have a folder for SQL. The reason is this: we are not going to create our SQL tables from PHP Admin. We are rather gonna um, script it and then import it into PHP Madme. This is a better way of working. Reason being that when you try to move from your local host to your live server, you don't have to start creating tables all over again. Take for example, you have a very large database with lots of tables and tables with lots and lots of fields. What kind of, what kind of double work would that be? To create it once and then recreate whenever you want to move you recreate that's not right so it's wise you create this thing from code so that all you need to do is import it into your database also it's going to help check on error in other words consistency in your naming and the attributes for your field it's going to keep up that consistency well this is basically everything we'll be doing for this tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to create our database hopefully create the tables and import them into the database i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you for hanging in there and i want to encourage you to please subscribe like my videos leave comments down below uh, this is the only way i get to know that you are actually there this is the only way i know that i'm adding value to someone and that's all i need to keep going really would love to know that you guys are out there so let me see some activity down below in the channel thank you